Welcome into Bucks Beat presented by Advent Health. This week, the Bucks placed punter Bradley Pinion, kicker Ryan Suckup, and long snapper Zach Triner on the COVID-19 reserve list, but they were able to be activated from that list on Friday and will be available on Sunday. Running back Ronald Jones was also placed on the COVID-19 reserve list, and Donovan Smith put out a statement Friday saying he had been a close contact with someone who had tested positive and would therefore have to miss Sunday's game to quarantine. Stay tuned to Buccaneers.com for the final injury report and inactive list for Sunday. The Bucks presented the 6th Annual General H. Norman Schwarzkopf Military Family of the Year Awards in coordination with Central Florida USO. This year it was done through socially distanced home visits to one local family from six different branches of the military. To learn about the honorees, check out Buccaneers.com. Also this week, Bucks Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year nominee Mike Evans and his wife Ashley surprised six local families for their foundation's annual Catch for Christmas initiative. Unable to host a series of in-person charity events like previous years, the couple collaborated with the Bucks street team, cheerleaders, and Captain Fear to deliver Buccaneers gear, gifts, and thousands of dollars in public gift cards along with a holiday message from Mike and Ashley. And on Friday, the Buccaneers hosted a holiday party for the team's youth leadership program, supporting 25 students from Young Middle School in East Tampa who have been mentored by players and staff this year as part of the Buccaneers Social Justice Initiative. Staff mentors and mentees enjoyed meals from PDQ, board games courtesy of quarterback Ryan Griffin, hoodies from the team, and Fitbits and science kits from Raymond James. That's going to do it for us on this edition of Bucks Beat presented by Advent Health. We'll see you next time.